Welcome back to White Shoulders, Boar Goats, and Farmstead. Today we are doing some tagging and banding, so if you're a little squeamish, you might not want to watch this. So, what do you do on a dreary, rainy Saturday? Well, I'm going to show you. Okay, so this little guy's going to get tagged. He's not going to get tattooed. He's not going to be disbutted. I'm just tagging him because he's just going to be your typical commercial kid going to sale. So this is how you load these. This side goes in here. This side gets slid into this little, I don't know what you want to call it, but, and then the uh, scrapey number goes on the outside so you can see it. And here is the bottom part, goes up through the bottom. I use uh, Super Lube from Premier. Just put some on. It never comes out right. It helps to go through the ear. And uh, you have to go through the, there's two uh, little veins, you can see them. And I always put it up high on the vein. Simple. I'll go get his brother. I usually weigh him, but I'm not weighing him. <coughs> Like so. This is an antiseptic lube. That's pretty much why I use it. They don't bleed. Ear tagging him does not hurt them. They might be a little mad Tell me about that. it. It don't hurt, does it? Yeah, he says it does. It does too hurt, but uh, they need those in order to sell them. Okay, this is a bander. And these are bands. In case one breaks, these are new bands. I just picked them up last week. It is harder to open when you have two of them on there. But that's what it does. And now I gotta catch them. Better get back. You should always give a CD and T shot before you perform this uh, procedure on your buck kid. You'll see the band. Both testicles are down below, like you're supposed to be. And you just keep an eye on those. His mama coming. Mama 
would see if you had a girl, you wouldn't have to go home through this. She had a girl. Finally. Okay, so the boys had their uh, bands put on, so we'll have weathers in about three weeks. Um, it's better to do this procedure when it's not fly season. If it is fly season, make sure that you put fly spray on them, and uh, you'll want to check the bands uh, once a week to make sure that they're not getting infected. These two fellows have been spoken for as uh, market weathers and they will be going to their new home soon. So here's the kids. Seems like everybody's just fine. They're eating. Um, had the grain this morning. Um, just doing fine. Never know that they were even banded yesterday. That's what I like to see. I do give them three days of probiotics in their feed. After I band them, uh, it just keeps them on their feed, keeps the good bugs a-going. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I hope this was an informative video on things that we do on the farmstead.